All right, in this video we are going to be talking about migrations and migrations is a way of storing your database tables and your database data into files so that way you can version them. And if you remember from the previous two videos, we did a video on authentication and we had a create users table and a create passwords table and we used PHP Artisan Migrate to create those tables. So we're going to show you how to create your own migrations right now. So I am going to open up uh, SQL Pro and I will show you my current database inside of my auth database. We still have the migrations, password resets, and the users and this was just from the previous video. So in the videos that we started off on we created a customers and an orders table and we just did this manually by entering this into the database by creating a new table and then creating all the new rows so let's show you how you might go about creating this customers table using migrations so I'm going to continue using this example database with auth and we're just gonna put a customers table into this database so I will open up my terminal and inside of the command line I will run php artisan make migration and then I'm gonna want to create a users table and you can use really whatever name you want here but it's best to kind of keep it to something that you can remember what the name of this file is so I will say create customers table and it says that created migration and it created a migration for us so if we open up the file structure and we go to database and migrations you can see that we have our create users table and our create passwords table and this was what was provided to us out of the box from Laravel and we also have now our create customers table so you can see in here we have two functions a function up and a function down and what each of these do is these get run when you do php artisan migrate then it runs the up function and once you do php artisan php artisan migrate roll back it will do the down function which will basically drop the table or remove what you have done in the up function so let's go ahead and use the create users table as an example I'm just gonna copy this schema create so we can just do schema create and we want to create the customers table and we are gonna have a function with the blueprint table and then we will just say table increments and this will create our index for us and our unique ID that will automatically increment each time we create a new customer and then we have our string that is a name so if you see inside of our SQL Pro the structure of our customers table was just ID and name so that's exactly what we have right here so let's also do the down function so we'll say schema drop customers okay and now if we go back into our command line and we run php artisan migrate then it will detect that we have a new migration file in there and it will migrate our customers table so let's look inside of our sql pro database at our auth database and let's refresh this okay now we have a customers table with an id and a name exactly what we needed so let's say that uh, we wanted to go back and we could say php artisan migrate roll back so then it will roll back the previous migration so now if we refresh the database now we don't have that table there anymore but at any time then we can do migrate and we can do migrate rollback and what this makes it great for is say that you're working with a team you don't have to constantly toss them your SQL file you know you make a add a new table or add a new row uh, and then you send somebody your updated uh, SQL file you know you dump the SQL file and send it over them you don't have to do that anymore right now you can just create a new migration and then once they uh, do a git pull of the latest version of code they can then do PHP artisan migrate and it will add any migrations that you have added there they can then do PHP artisan migrate rollback to roll back any database changes so this is great because it allows you to version all the different database tables and rows that you create and one last thing is also the database seeds so you can actually seed data to your database as well so if you look at the documentation we have database seeding and we're not going to go over seeding in this video but I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about it and what it allows you to do is add actual data to your tables so in our 
customers table, we had two customers. We had Tony and Bob. So we could create some seeds that automatically seed the database once we run PHP Artisan uh, migrate and seed, PHP Artisan migrate. Then it will automatically add our tables and our data in there. So this makes it great because we can store all of our data and our tables inside of our files that we can then store on our version control system. So that is pretty much all that we're going to go over in the this video for migrations and uh, just think of migrations as a great way of storing all of your uh, database data. And uh, I will see you in the next video where we will be wrapping it up and talking about a few other things.